my room up. Room up. So I can do other shit. Sunday morning, brewing some coffee. Oh, it's actually, I don't have my watch on. I usually I wear my watch all the time, but it's probably getting close to noon. Definitely slept in today, which is good. Needed it after that long trot on the uh, treadmill yesterday. I don't feel too sore. I feel good. I'm gonna take a break today and relax. Last night we watched another movie. It was, uh, what was it called? The Werewolf Within. It was pretty good. Jessica didn't really like it, but I thought it was funny. After that, we, we w did some Big Brother update stuff uh, from the live feeds, just, like checking out some stuff on YouTube about the live feeds and what's going on in there for Celebrity Big Brother, which is our thing. And uh, yeah, today I'm probably going to play some Call of Duty and uh, maybe Minecraft. I don't know why Minecraft's so addictive. It's all Super Bowl Sunday. I can't even remember if I watched the last Super Bowl or not. Not too into it anymore, especially when you're... Like, I haven't drank in like three months, so that's probably all I'd really do during it, is drink. Good morning, happy Sunday. Ever since I started that uh, apple cider vinegar concoction, I haven't been drinking coffee during the week. And since yesterday, we had Dunkin' as our treat day. Um, this will be my first day trying the Starbucks iced coffee. This was a substitution for my Stoke coffee. This is the Starbucks unsweetened dark roast. It has the same calories. It's 15 calories for 12 ounces. But what I do is just pour this into a cup filled with ice and do a splash of creamer. Today's creamer will be the Cold Stone Sweet Cream International Delight. Tim picked this up for me from um, Dollar General because I was running low on creamer. So this should be really good. I'm interested to see if I like this uh, Starbucks iced coffee. But this is a great way to start your Sunday morning. Tim and I are going to go ahead and try these pure protein bars. This is the birthday cake flavor. The only flavor that we've tried is the peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter. So this should be interesting, but this has the same macros. It's 200 calories and it has 20 grams of protein. Okay, so this is the birthday cake protein bar. Mmm. Jessica's worried because I got these from Dollar General, they might be stale. You like a protein bar. I'm a little nervous for this because I don't like icing. So I don't normally pick like birthday cake flavors. Plus, if anything has chocolate, I usually go for that. But let me give this a whirl. I'll eat it. Ew. It doesn't taste like cake at all. Do you think? No. It just it tastes a, like vanilla protein. Yeah, it has a weird aftertaste and it's like not the same consistency as those chocolate peanut butter ones. This one's a little bit more hard. It's not awful, but I would never get these again. For this Super Bowl Sunday or better in this house, uh, Big Brother Sunday. Um, I don't even know if we're going to be watching any of the Super Bowl, to be honest. We might tune in and just see what the score is and maybe check out the halftime show, but we're not sure. But um, we're going to do this fun but a little bit healthier option for dinner tonight. We're going to be making some buffalo meatballs. So what we have is the 93% lean ground turkey. I'm going to season it up with some garlic and onion powder. We're going to add one egg some Frank's buffalo sauce, and some breadcrumbs. So this should be a pretty fun, but yet healthier option today. Here's what the ground turkey mixture looks like with all the ingredients mixed into it. I'm gonna try to use this little scooper this time and see how it goes. I'll let you know. That little scoop uh, worked pretty good. Uh, the meatballs are fairly uniform, better than what I normally would do without the use of that tool. So I'll definitely be using that again. The recipe that I used said it that it would make 12 bigger meatballs, and this came out as 20. So, pretty cool. I'll definitely be using that again next time I make these. Here's what the buffalo meatballs look like all plated up.
I just made up my protein with uh, my apple cider vinegar. And one thing, I, we, uh, Jessica even noticed this, but uh, when I was on the treadmill for the two hours, all you could smell is I was sweating out the apple cider vinegar. It was strange. Odd. But hopefully, I don't know. I'm feeling better. I don't know what to attribute that to. Is I'm moving more, drinking the apple cider vinegar, getting, getting more protein. So hopefully all that's kicking in and I can be more motivated. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, Tim is being a real sweetheart today. He offered to take me for lunch to Fresh Twist. Um, that was one of our favorite things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was one of our favorite things to do when uh, we were plant-based because it's an all plant-based uh, menu. It has smoothie bowls, grain bowls, it has wraps, it has a bunch of, they're adding a lot to the menu, so they must be doing pretty good, so that's good. Um, but this has like twofold happiness for me, because this means I don't have to cook today. Um, we'll show you what we get, but I'm so excited for this. I guess I've just been talking about it so much and Tim offered it, so that was really sweet of him. So I got a falafel bowl with a sesame ginger dressing and a rad ranch. This is all plant-based. I added extra, I mean, fajita veggies that doesn't come with it, but I added those. Um, I got, it's called a winter wonderland smoothie. It has blue magic in it. And then Tim got the painkiller smoothie, which helps with joint pain and relieves uh, when you work out helps inflammation <laughs> and then he got oh they didn't really this wrap I don't what wrap did you get taco yep. a taco wrap which is all plant-based it looks pretty delicious so this is our Valentine's celebration complete. It wasn't pretty, but I got her done. Um, today I just have no energy for some reason and I really wasn't feeling very motivated, but I am glad I completed it. So I just need to get 1,500 more steps in for the day and then my workout will be complete for Monday. Now it's time to eat this delicious falafel bowl. I had my smoothie pre-workout and I let it digest. Worked out and now that I've drank some water and calmed down, this will be my post-workout. This will... I haven't had one of these probably... I don't know, probably like last summer. So I'm really looking forward to this. What is it? It's Monday, 5.05. .05. Tonight has a Big Brother episode. It's a big celebrity Big Brother episode. Uh, I just finished work. Not much really going on. It's Valentine's Day. Jessica and I get lunch. And so I think we recorded and it's a kind of a pretty day out. A little chilly, but nice. Big Brother was very disappointing tonight. Going to bed, it's late. We've been watching Rob has a podcast. It's been pretty funny, but cheering us up a little bit. But yeah, overall, 
Another good night for a big brother. I'm going to go ahead and get started on dinner. Um, so that way when we get our workouts over with, we'll have dinner ready. I've changed the dinner menu on Tem today. <laughs> I would say five times at least. I'm in still one of those funky moods. I don't know. I basically gave him a couple options and told him to pick. And he wanted some white chicken chili. So that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to also be using the ground turkey today in it. Um, I am, we're, we have no onions in this house, which is blasphemy. <laughs> I don't know how I don't have any onions, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just use, oh, shocker, shocker, I use this in all, like all my recipes, but I'm going to use this pepper and onion blend. Hopefully Tim doesn't mind, but I just feel like it'll just add some flavor to this. But this is what we'll be having for dinner on this Taco Tuesday. Here's what it's looking like so far. Almost forgot I need to add a little bit of chicken stock, so I'll probably add maybe about a half of um, carton of chicken stock or chicken broth. Uh, we like our chilies a little thicker, so it's looking pretty good. It smells delicious so far. It's five o'clock on Tuesday, so that means leg day. I got my steps in. But to be honest with you, today I'm still exhausted. Um, it is one week before Shark Week, and this is the norm. I'm usually really crampy and exhausted, so I guess this is to be expected. But um, I put on some workout clothes, and one thing that's even motivating me, even though I'm so tired, my clothes are starting to fit better. Like these capris are a little loose and my tank top's loose. I was like, oh, I don't even know. This is probably going to be really tight. But it actually fits me pretty good. So I'm finally seeing progress. So that just makes me feel really motivated right now. So even though I'm tired, I'm going to go ahead and do leg day. Got my usual setup. I'm going to stick with the same weight and stick with the lightest booty band there is. Um, that way I can advance when I feel stronger. But let's see how different today is when I do the sets right. <laughs> Here we go. It's Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Just finished work. Going to get on the treadmill. Probably do about half an hour. I needed to do like an hour easy. But I'm going to do like a half hour because Jess got some chili cooking. And we're going to try to eat dinner together. And she's doing her lifting workout. So let's see how it goes. This is just like a shake off, I think. Just going to treadmill for a little bit. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. I might try to get out tomorrow. No problem, no guarantees. No, I'm not set in my head. I switch. I can't I have a hard time making plans. That's how my brain works. But I'm going to turn on some tunes and get them moving. I can't love if you get any other way. Leg day complete. Boy, do I feel it. That was a lot more challenging to do it that way. Like do all three of the same workout. Three sets of 10 and then move on to the next workout or next exercise. Um, the Garmin watch said that I burned about 327 calories this time, which is like almost 100 more calories. And I did the same exercises as last time. So I must have really pushed it this time. Um, but overall, I do like that way. It's, I could really feel it in my glutes today. And I'm just glad I got that over with. Leg day complete. I always get Jessica with the zoom in. I zoom in on the camera and then she records all zoomed in. But anyway, I uh, just finished my treadmill workout. Uh, did a half hour. I'm trying to get up 5K under a half hour, but I didn't really succeed. I almost got like around three miles in the half hour. So it's getting close, but I need to get that easily I need to be able to easily get that <sighs> cooking some rice uh, 90 second jasmine rice in the microwave and Jessica made some white chili is that what's called white chili it's what white chicken chili white chicken white, chi white turkey chili <laughs> I don't know it is but spicy it's, it's just because it's very spicy so we'll see uh, yeah I'm gonna do that now and we're gonna watch some TV and we'll see. then uh, we'll, see. we'll chill out 
and probably call the night. So probably won't check in again till later, till tomorrow. Happy Wednesday. It's a gorgeous day today. We are in the 60s. Um, it's really windy though. And we better not get too attached because I think it's supposed to snow this weekend. But anyways, we'll appreciate it. We'll take it while we can. This is nice. But anyways, I know this looks disgusting right now. <laughs> but I have some chicken tenderloins in the crock pot. Just prepping a bunch of them right now. Just so that we have some easy accessible protein available to us. Um, for either a snack or a meal. Even though it's in the 60s today, we still have a little bit of snow in our yard. But I'm sure that'll be gone in no time. But yeah, still some snow holding on for dear life. For Wednesday's dinner, Tim's eating leftover white chicken chili. And I'm just eating some chicken tenderloins that I prepped in the crock pot. Oh my god. With uh, over some jasmine rice, some shredded cheese, a little bit of sour cream and salsa. For some reason, I don't know if it's my hormones or what, but I told Tim, man, I am so hungry lately. So hopefully this feeling goes away quick. <laughs> a month, so I want to say just about a month ago, yeah, it was like the end of my New York trip is when I found out I got into Mayo Clinic in Phoenix. So... I'm feeling very thankful that I can do that. My insurance uh, it's taken there and I'm just ready to figure this thing out. That's plan for April. Mayo Clinic is like- Happy Thursday. Thought I'd hop up on here and show a lunch idea. We really don't ever really show our lunches. Um, today, I made Tim and I, I should have showed it while I was making it, but I don't know. <laughs> but anyways. We made a chicken wrap from that chicken that I prepped in the crock pot. So we both have about four ounces of chicken um, and one of these extreme wellness wraps. These are 50 calories per wrap. They're made from whole wheat and flaxseed. I used a tablespoon of barbecue sauce and then I just, you know, I brown the, put it on a frying pan and brown the tortilla when it's all wrapped up. And this will be our lunch. Another day, another tank top. I feel like that's the only thing that anybody on that watches these videos sees me wearing. Trust me, I wear more, but <laughs> that's just when I pull out the camera. But anyways, today's Thursday, which means arm day. Um, my body is so achy this week. I think the least achy body part, though, are my arms, so that works out. And I think I've said it in about every day this, in this video. I'm so run down and so tired. But we're almost there. <laughs> we have to get through arm day. And then tomorrow is the interval workout on the treadmill. And then it'll be a cakewalk from there. But uh, I'm going to do arm day and I'll let you know how it goes. Arm day complete. I changed it up a little bit. <laughs> Last week I didn't feel like my um, workout was as challenging as it should be. Um, while I'm in this weight loss phase, I feel like I really shouldn't be adding like more pounds to my workouts because I would go from, what would that be like, these are, so I'd go from 20 pounds to 30 pounds. So instead of doing that, okay, my arms are shaky <laughs> and dead to the world, but uh, uh, I can't even think straight. Oh, that was rough. But instead of adding weight, I added reps. So with everything, with all the exercises I did with the barbell and the 20 pounds, I just added an extra set. So instead of doing three sets of 10, I did four sets of 10. And then with the um, one exercise that I use those really light um, dumbbells, they're only five pounds each. Um, eventually we needed to invest in heavier ones of those, but uh, I'm just gonna make it work with what we have so far. And um, I added two extra sets, so I did a hundred of those. So I did um, five sets of 20, 
So the Garmin watch said I burned about 233 calories, so that's not too shabby for an arm day. Um, that was just the, well, might be just because I'm so um, run down right now, but that, that did the trick. That felt made me feel like I was actually pushing myself. I don't feel like I could have done another set in, like any more sets because my arms are dead now and I actually am like already sore and shaky right now. So I think that'll do the trick for now. I really love arm day so far. I know this is only my second time doing it, but I really like doing the arms. I feel really strong, but uh, whenever I do leg day, I feel like uh, like noodle legs. I'm really flimsy. I'm not that strong, but with my arms, I feel pretty strong. I think I'm going to change things up too. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm like so indecisive. There's a part of me that wants to go ahead and do my treadmill interval workout today because this weekend we have a challenge where we have to walk a 5k and I feel like I could do that tomorrow and get it out of the way and then I won't have to worry about it for Saturday and Sunday and I can just chill and not worry. Uh, and I'm feeling pretty strong besides feeling run down. I do feel capable. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. <laughs> so I'm gonna get on the treadmill and do my run, jog, walk interval. And I'll let you know how that goes. Thank God I don't have to use my arms. Oh my gosh, my arms are so sore. Treadmill interval workout complete. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that was rough. I only did 30 minutes on the treadmill. I'm gassed out, I can't do any more. I'm starting to feel nauseous. But I got a fairly decent sweat going. <laughs> and I know I worked out, I pushed myself. And that way, I'm making it work for my schedule. So tomorrow, I'll do 3.1 mile walk on the treadmill to get that in for the challenge. So, workout complete. It said on the Garmin watch, I know this isn't 100%, but it, it said um, around 300 calories burned. So, I'll take it. I haven't picked up the camera in a little while, but uh, to, I have to do my long... I can't even remember if I mentioned... The last time, that was Tuesday, I tried to do a half hour. I just ran a half hour. I'm trying to get a 5K, on, like over a 5K in under, a 5K in under 30 minutes. That's basically the goal, but I'm only going to do 30 minutes. That was like my speed. I'm just going to do an hour, easy hour today. That's the plan. And then this weekend, on the weekends, I'll do two hours. It's, that's my goal. So let's see if I can keep that up. So most likely it's going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then Saturday or Sunday, probably Saturday. It could be either one, but that's looking like the running schedule, but still doing the treadmill. It's raining outside. It is warmer, but it is very wet out. So I'm going to do the treadmill. Finished my workout. Uh, whew, an hour. I was supposed to be pretty easy, but it felt a lot harder than it. Mentally, that's the thing. That's where I'm struggling mentally. But I did uh, a warm up and then I did half a mile incline and then I did intervals of like a quarter mile at six miles per hour, which is a 10 minute uh, mile pace, and then slowed down slowly, like took it down throughout the next quarter mile, and then took it back up and ramped back up going into the next quarter mile. So it was just a quarter mile of slow down and speed up, and then uh, a full quarter mile, and did that over and over again until the end, and then I did uh, just a couple last uh, quarter mile slow down each time just slowed down more and more until I cooled down but anyway I, was, I like to listen to the radio or the music Pandora is what I've been listening to lately and I've been using this speaker and I just want to mention it real quick so when I got this so this is the an oons o o n t z angle solo dual speaker a Bluetooth speaker Syncs up, it works really well. I get about four hours of loud, uh, loud music from it. I'm about to charge it up again, that's why I wanted to mention it. But uh, yeah, it works really good. I sit on the bookshelf and I hear it nice and clear and have a good time when I'm on the treadmill. But 
Uh, the music's really motivating, but today, as it's going dead, it'll slowly get quieter and quieter, and that's what it did until I couldn't even hear it over the treadmill today. So that kind of sucked, but it's better than like a beeping, like I've had Bluetooth headphones that'll beep every five seconds, it'll be like beep beep real loud, and it's very annoying. So just getting quieter and quieter until it goes dead, it's okay by me. So it was one of the better reviewed price for performance on Amazon, that's where we I ended up ordering that. I could still do my protein shake. And I'm just gonna try to get a bunch of protein. We got chicken to eat. Uh, Jessica cooks chicken in the crock pot, chicken breast, and we're, I'm gonna mix that up with some pinto beans and some other stuff. But yeah, then I'm gonna, I need to get a shower and chill out because Friday, last day of work. And a two hour Big Brother celebrity tomorrow night, so we got that to look forward to. Nothing on the night that we watch, I don't think. shower making some just made my smoothie with my apple cider vinegar in it and uh, gonna drink out with my dinner which is I decided to go with uh, Jessica for lunch made these chicken wraps uh, with the basically barbecue sweet paper raised barbecue sauce with some chicken shredded I'm cooking those up right now made two of those so should be good and then uh, I'm gonna call it a night so I hope you guys have a good one happy Friday um Today it's like 27 degrees and we have a light dusting of snow. Just Wednesday it was like in the 60s, but that's pretty much the norm for this area. We'll have 60s, 27, 10, and then I think Monday we're back in the 60s again. So that's just going to be the dorm until spring gets here, but spring's just around the corner. Um, right now, I need to drink my apple cider vinegar concoction, get that out of the way, and hop on the treadmill. We have a fairly busy um, evening, so I need to get everything over with. Well, I did it. I got in 3.1 miles on the treadmill walking. Um, I procrastinated longer than I should have, though. I'm just so run down this week. But I got her done. I got a point for doing that. You had to walk a 5K for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Got it over with the first day. <laughs> so now for the rest of the weekend, I can just chill and just get my steps in and take it easy. So workout complete. Just finished work and Jessica's dinner ready for us. And some salmon with broccoli and rice. My back's been killing me, so I'm hoping this helps with the inflammation get some fish. Supposed to be good for that, I think. So Jessica said this salmon steakhouse salmon. So see what that's all about. If it tastes good, I imagine it does. It all tastes good. I love all the salmon. All the salmons. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna look to me like what? That? <laughs> but uh, got some D and D with my friends tonight. So Jessica thinks I'm such a dork because I play well, Dungeons and Dragons. But we're doing the, the old hero quest type deal, mixed, blended in the. That's a new campaign we're doing, Heroes Quest, Dungeons and Dragons style, 5e, in case you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, tomorrow, though this weekend, I'm going to do my two hour on the treadmill probably because it's pretty nasty out again. It gets cold and snow everywhere, just sloppy out. So, hopefully it's a good weekend tonight, Big Brother Celebrity, two hours episode. So, uh, I'm going to eat, do Dungeons and Dragons, and then we're going to check that out, Jessica and I. But... Sounds like it's gonna be a good Friday. Saturday morning, I just did my weighing and my blood pressure. Weight's floating about the same, just kind of going up and down a pound each week. Uh, I do have my two hour run I have to do this weekend. I'll probably do it tomorrow because today's treat day. And I'm planning on getting some Wendy's and some Pizza Hut because I'm gonna try that spicy pizza. So that should hopefully be good. I'm definitely chowing down though, lots of calories. And uh, my blood pressure was high. It was in hypertension stage one. So uh, that's I guess that's better than it being hypersensitive stage two when I first wake up. So I don't know what it's supposed to be if it's always supposed to be higher when you first get up. But I mean Jessica's is always good when she first gets up. So I got to strive for that I guess. But hopefully the, I mean the weather outside. There's been a dusting of snow. Hopefully it's nice out and we don't have any issues getting anywhere to get my good treats. But uh, get our good treats or whatever I don't know. 
I'm still not sure what Jessica's plans are today, but anyway, hopefully you're all having a good weekend. It's Saturday. You know what that means. Way day and treat day. I'm happy for both. Um, I just jumped up on the scale. Uh, I lost 2.2 pounds this week, so that's really exciting. I'm pretty proud of that. And uh, my body was really sore to th this was when I woke up this morning, uh, so I was kind of worried about if the scale would reflect that, because usually if you're really achy, your body will hold on to weight. But I'm down 2.2. I'll take it. And I did my blood pressure, and it's like the best it's ever been. It's still in the normal range, so I'm happy with that. So let's get this weekend started. coffee since last weekend so I'm pretty excited just ordered some pizza gonna go pick it up here in a minute Jessica's getting her face on getting her face on no <laughs> get out of here it's not funny Tim well, it's not funny I'm not gonna tape you I'm just in here talking you always come in here and eat. it's not funny I'm not taping you now I'll have to be in a mad dash because you lied to me my stomach kind of hurts yeah, because it's one o'clock and you haven't ate nothing. I know. But anyway, Jessica's getting ready. Waiting on her. <laughs> but uh, then we're going to eat and do some editing of the video. So hopefully it all turns out good. So we're on our way to get our treat day. I was having a hard time. Okay, I need to stop looking. <laughs> I was having a hard time picking what I want today. I was even like debating just to like go into a grocery store and get a frozen pizza. <laughs> just because I'm nervous that I'll be disappointed. Yeah, I put too much stress over what I'm eating on treat day, but I just don't want to be disappointed. But I ended up thinking, well, I do want pizza because that's like one of my favorites. I could probably eat that every day can't do that now because we're in weight loss mode but I could but anyways I decided to do that and then Tim wants Wendy's oh because he needs he wants Wendy's I was thinking he, there was a spicy thing from there too but uh I'm gonna get a frosty there because I kind of I'm craving ice cream more than anything it's so weird for me that I keep craving sweets like this is so not like me I'm the savory girl hundred percent oh don't get me wrong I like savory things still too but anyways I'm going on a tangent hello head of online order Odell uh, yes there you go. Uh, thank you very much thank you have a wonderful afternoon you too thank you will it be spicy nobody knows Oh my god. Okay. Would you rather have Dairy Queen? You're getting food here. No, I'm not getting food. Let's get Dairy Queen. You want Dairy Queen? That's up to you. Okay, so change of plans. We're going to go to Dairy Queen because Wendy's is packed. I'm going to try to get a burger there and we're going to get some, I don't know, Blizzard. Is that what you're getting? Probably. Okay. Do you know what you want? No, I figure. I mean, I know what burger I want. I mean, I'm a flamethrower. I'm getting all spice. I'm gonna be my butt's gonna be burning. But anyway, uh, ice cream. I'm gonna get a frozen hot chocolate. That's what I'm gonna get. Yeah. Sounds good. Right clothes for a party. You know what you want? Yep. 
so sorry, Pop Dad. Can I have whenever you're ready? Uh, can I please have a uh, half pound flamethrower with no lettuce or tomato? A uh, large frozen hot chocolate. Large Reese couples are very. Did you want the sandwich or the combo? With uh, the just the sandwich, please. Okay. And then what was your second thing, Corey? A uh, large frozen hot chocolate. Okay. And a large uh, Reese peanut butter cup. A peanut butter cup blizzard made with chocolate ice cream. Okay. And that'll be all, please. Here's what I picked out from Pizza Hut. Look at all that grease on the box. <laughs> Yummy. Um, I got the original pan pizza um, with mushrooms, green pepper, and red onion. This looks so delicious. Oh, and extra sauce, which we could pretty much see in that middle part right there. That looks like perfection. Time to eat. So, what did I get from my treat day? Jessica and I got some pizza. This is the spicy, spicy pizza. There we go, level it up. That's, it's the pepperoni one. It's double pepperoni. They put some sausage on there, jalapenos, it looks like. Which I don't remember seeing jalapenos listed on there. But uh, I'm gonna try it out. Is it spicy? It's supposed to have a spicy marinara sauce. It has those uh, pepperonis that curl up. And then it has a regular big, like larger pepperonis, like the standard. Some kind of seasoning, spicy seasoning. I taste a little bit of the, a little bit of the heat from the sauce. Not real hot, just a little bit of spice, but it's good. I got the pan, original pan. I always felt like it was, it just doesn't, the crust doesn't taste the same as it used to. It's strange. Basically it's Pizza Hut pizza with a little bit of spice. I don't, I, so if you can handle some spice, I think you'll be all right with this. I don't think it's anything too insane. Like I don't need to drink anything at all, really. So what else did I get? Wendy's was busy. I got Dairy Queen. Got a classic. I'm going spicy, like I said. Flamethrower. See if they made this right, because I don't like lettuce and tomato on my flamethrower. This is the half pound. Oh, fail. Definite fail. The flamethrower, half pound. It's really all about this sauce here. It makes it spicy. They put a triple burger on here. It's a thick burger. They put three patties on there. This kind of tastes like the, you ever go to like the cafeteria and they have the pre-cooked burgers in a boiling water or something, they pull them out with a, that's what they kind of taste like, those kind of burger patties. But the sauce has some kick. So the flamethrower is a little bit spicier than the Pizza Hut spicy pizza. That's my rating. If you try them out, let me know what you think. If you think they're spicy. Uh, once again, I'll reiterate. Flamethrower a little bit spicier than the Pizza Hut pizza. Neither are really high on a 1 to 10. I'd say like the Pizza Hut's probably like a 2. A little bit, like you can taste some heat, but it's a little bit more than that. And then 3 for the uh, flamethrower. That's what I'd rate it. I'm no spice expert, but that's just my opinion. For dessert, I picked out a Reese Cup Blizzard made with chocolate ice cream. Yay! I almost forgot about the dessert. I got a Frozen Hot Chocolate. Classic. <sighs> Classic brain freeze. Very chocolatey. Delicious. We're watching uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the new one on Netflix. Has like the people that worked on the Evil Dead movies and stuff like that, which I'm a big fan of, so should be good. We just started. We're about 10 minutes in, and it's already looking really good. What do you think? Good? Yeah, I think it looks good. I can't wait. So, fun times. Party Saturday. <laughs> <laughs>